how are you if you're new here welcome my name is michelle and this is one of my many series this is the karma reading we're gonna see what's coming towards you keep in mind that these are all generals so it's for whoever felt drawn to the reading also i'm gonna pop some so some zodiac signs so it could be you it could be the person you could have a karmic situation with don't worry much as i say before my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything is going to resonate with everybody and make sure to know that the roles could be reversed between you and your person and that applies if you're a cross watcher hi welcome and with that said let's move on with the usual reading so let's see we have the fourth house we got leo energy let me take this the second house thank you spirit we have the seventh house Ooh. the first house pisces sagittarius pluto any other ones gemini and cancer at the bottom we have ooh the south node so let me see let me see <laughs> they want you to take a chance on something new they and this is the fourth house in leo okay why because it seems to be they're asking you do what makes you feel secure but also they want you to take a chance because you are very cl not close-minded but you don't like to take chances or maybe taking chances are too risky and they are actually telling you hey babe whatever it is that you want take a chance take a chance as you did in the past because whenever we take chances we will never live with the what if like what would i what would it look like if I did this? You know, you don't have that question once you did it because either or you succeeded or not. And whatever outcome it comes, it comes with closure in any way, shape, or form. Now, patiently, um, they want you to work on your balance. They want you to work in your balance. They also want you to work in cooperation with the universe. Now, what you need is partnership when it comes to romantic romantic situations they want you to understand that when you want a partnership it's all about teamwork i was gonna say twin work i forgot the word teamwork it's all about balance as well so that is what you need in that romantic situations so it's the second house and the seventh house too but they want you to patiently wait for what you want what is it saying it like that because when we rush to take whatever we get, we make mistakes. They want you to work on your patience. They want you to do things that you want to do. Take a chance, stop holding back. But when it comes to romantic and partnerships, keep in mind that the difference in hooking up and having a partner is that you find balance, cooperation, you find, you find teamwork, you're never alone. If you feel alone in a relationship, then I'm sorry, that you don't belong there. The first house in Pisces, um, it's all about your dreams. You, be, you may be having very overwhelming dreams. Um, it's actually connected with who you are and your desires. So any dream that you have that feels very vivid, I will highly recommend you to write it down in a journal. Journal. Journal? journal? I said it right? In a diary, in a book, I don't know, in, in a servilleta or something. But they wanted you to write it down. Um they say that your dreams are having insights that you may be overlooking they want you to write it down so you can actually see the insights and have the understanding that comes from your dreams um they say that once you do that with sagittarius here there that's gonna be they're gonna be bringing you results from that understanding i feel like i feel like either or somebody here is sending you dreams that are not just dreams they're messages that you need to write it down once you write it down you're gonna have dreams throughout a month throughout a week write it down once you write it down you're able to overlook it and understand that the message underlying the actual dreams because it's not coming from one dream it's coming from multiple um they're also bringing on pluto so there could be a struggle when it comes to obsession when it comes to overwhelming feelings they want you to understand the power of 
of your of your will like you have control of whatever it is that you think is getting out of control if it's like an obsession with a person if it's an obsession with a situation it's time to trust in your will and the power of will that you have so besides that it's telling me that a lot of you are going to go through a lot of challenges it's going to feel overwhelming but you, you need to understand that you have the power to find balance and peace under the struggle they want you to use your intuition because your intuition is supposed to be used to protect you um they're telling you of of course that somebody from the past is coming in and hmm let me clarify that one. In this communication that's coming in, guys, it could bring some sort of anxiety. Let's see. Can we clarify all of them? Thank you so much. We got Scorpio energy. But they want you to know that you have control over the situation. They also want you to to, I know it's very confusing. I'm just getting a lot of messages. I'm trying to control myself because I'm just getting even dizzy with all this all this energy. Um, they want you to rely on, on the power of prayer. They want you to pray to your ancestors, to pray to whoever you believe. As They want you to utilize this in mix or, I don't know, weight the highest and the lowest aspects of the situation. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? <sighs> They are truly telling you to get prepared for a sacrifice. Oh, because it's yielding to only one thing. An unexpected change. Oh, oh my God, baby. I feel like this person is coming back from the past. And something about a sacrifice. You will have to be prepared for a sacrifice. That is going to lead to one thing. Unexpected change. I feel like. If you have been praying for the end of karmic with this specific individual, babe, it's coming. And I could feel it. It's coming. And it's coming soon. Aquarius. And they're telling you that everything is different because your vision has changed. They're actually asking you what is different, what is new about them. What is new about your vision? What is new about your vision? Because you have become a person of power. I'm not talking about money here only. I'm talking about personal power. Energetically, babe. You're not the person you used to be. Oh my God. I feel this energy and I want to slap somebody. Because it feels so powerful. Oh my God. Your faith. Your faith has made you a person of power. Your faith has. Oh, as I say it. Have faith. Your faith has given you or given you a different vision. It's hard to put this puzzle together, guys. It's hard to, but I understand now. Your faith has given you the power of will, has given you power to see things different. Your vision has changed, and that's why they're preparing you for a sacrifice, meaning is that it's leading to unexpected change. As soon as you're done with that sacrifice, most likely it's a decision. We're talking about a decision. It's going to change your life completely because it is the end of karma. It is officially the end of karma. We are putting a stop to the BS of karma that you guys have with this individual. Karma is over. They're telling you do not worry about it. They're telling you now is the time. They want you to enjoy this moment. They understand that you're going to have many thoughts. They want you to be aware. They want you to never, with Capricorn, to never lose focus. And this is going to be the result of the rules that you imposed. <coughs> what else can you tell me about the situation, though? What else? Now, going back to you. Um, we got the 10th house and the 5th house right here. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So you are going to actually gain more responsibility and you're going to be very successful when it comes to work. Okay. You're going to become a person of money and status. 
um, whatever it is that you do is whatever it is that you do or whatever it is that that money is coming from is from your creativity from your creations um, it seems to be that you could actually make your own business as well um, it seems to be that you're gonna be the first one in your family that could have money and status keep in mind that status is not being a millionaire it's more about having something that maybe your family is not used to have you know um there also uh it seems to be that there's going to be some sort of investments here so either or you're going to invest on something this could be investing in product to create this could be investing in creating your own business or investing in anything in any way shape or form that is going to actually give you the success that you are going to achieve when it comes to career okay they're also in Aries are talking about your willpower. Like I said before, I know that I pronounced it wrong before, but that's what I meant to say. Your willpower. Um, they ask you, they're ask, asking you what you think about it now. You got to think about how do you think about it now? Whatever that is going to this, it's, they're telling you that this new opportunity as well that is coming in as a change in your career is giving you the doing it your own way. The fourth house. Can we clarify that one? The fourth house in, in the fourth house in Pisces. Okay, um, they're telling you that what makes you secure. It says your spiritual family. They're actually telling you that your spiritual family is giving you support. It's gonna make you feel secure. They're gonna uh, back you up. They want you to trust your psychic knowledge, and they're telling you that. This is the result from my decision. Sagittarius. They want you to get it out to the world. They don't want you to hold back anymore. They want you to be comfortable in your own body. To be who you freaking are. They want you with Jupiter right here. Um, to keep on learning. This is talking about spirituality here. They want you to be positive about this change because it's going to help you grow and expand. Craze. This is going to be like an experiment. You're going to actually shift into a newer energy, into a newer situation. You're going to be discovering so much. You're going to be actually the result of change. That's what I heard. You're in your anus. <laughs> I love that word. Your anus. Your anus. Your anus. Tus nalgas. Anyways, um, there's gonna be a spicy situation because of your new ideas. Because you are like an inventor. You're actually maybe also breaking patterns. Also, this could be karmic ties from the past, bringing up family situations. You're breaking up karma. That is not only maybe with a person for others of you, also could be connected to a family member or to family members. And because you are inventing it your own way, there's going to be a stirred up situation. They're also telling you that there could be some trouble, but they're not, they will, there will not be any anxiety coming from you. Because you know what you want. Oh my God, Pluto, because you're resurrecting. I know that some of you have been going through the tower moment like shit has happened one after another and i know some people will be like what is she talking about michelle i'm giving a message directly from Matt, from spirit and whoever gets it gets it and whoever doesn't doesn't okay whoever gets this message is i did my job even if it's one person i did my job again whatever you have been going through and listen to me carefully you are going to resurrect because after you're done with the tower moment, your vision is going to change. You're no longer going to be the same. This is connecting people from the past. This is connecting with family members. This is connecting with your career. Whatever it is that you have been doing in any aspect of your life, everything is about to change and you are going to resurrect. You are going to be reborn. You understand that you are no longer that person under that perspective, under that vision. You are new, new, new. And they said that if you feel lonely, if you feel like nobody understands you, your spiritual family is going to support that change. Your spiritual family is going to back you up. Us. They're telling you, get to the heart of it. Don't give up. Listen to your heart. Put heart and passion into it. And they're telling you, they're telling you this is a, a do it or die. You must. You can't postpone it. They're telling you, 
learn and teach meaning that you are not only the teacher but the student because us humans we never stop learning and they're telling you to be positive about it because thanks to this you're gonna grow and expand oh my goodness oh my god energies energize <laughs> they're telling you energize your beliefs confront what you value force yourself to your resources can you hear that my goodness okay what else what else what else can you give me for them oh my god they're telling you demonstrate dedication to achieve realize focusing on act like a leader resulting from the rules imposed imposed by hold on guys in aries do it your own way dedication to achieve your willpower focus on what you think you know about so oh my god they're telling you realize teach and move with it they want you to realize teach move with it focus on it they also want you to be realistic about it Hold on, hold on. We got Saturn, Saturn, the South Node, and the Seventh House, and it says, "Be realistic about it. There will, there will not be diplomatically, be concerned about anxiety, about relationships. You must wait before you can trouble get a fair deal." Hmm. I feel like there is. Um, I know this makes no sense when I read it like that. Oh my goodness my son my son just scared me guys so i know it makes no sense because i'm going like that because it's just the energies that i feel but they want you to be realistic about it when it comes to relationships i'm going to explain i'm going to break it down they want you to be realistic about it when it comes to your relationships you don't have to be diplomat in the relationships either or do it or not meaning that if the relationship feels like anxiety if the relationship feels like trouble get a fair fair deal or not so that is the thing your karmic is getting to an end you are going through the tower moment to your own karmic situation and you're going to get out of that and you are new you're going to be new right so when you are new there's still going to be past people or people who think they know you wanted to come in they're telling you either or relationships romantically friendships family if it's a fair deal take it if it's a if it's not a fair deal bye bye i know it makes no sense but i feel it's the time for you to embrace it's a life or death issue, pretty much. They want you to use your power, use other... And again, you are going to change. This is going to be very shocking for a lot of people. You got to get a fair deal or not, meaning that you are no longer going to bend over to other people's rule. You are no longer going to bend over to their perspective of how you need to live. You have changed because you know your own damn journey. You know your own damn sacrifices. So now, there's going to be a situation that you're going to feel that you're going to lose people here you're not losing people you're actually clearing up the path for people who are like you to be in your life so be ready for unexpected changes everything is going to change things are not going to make sense karmic is at its best because everything is pushing you to be the best so you can actually be reborn so you can actually find people who are like you so you are no longer forced to change and this is also coming with relationships you are no longer that past person your vision has changed so whatever you thought you wanted in a relationship you are no longer want so you get a fair deal or not you are the judge and the jury you are the ceo of your life it's time for you to stop holding back stop being afraid and utilize that as okay you're no longer matching my energies a uh, bye-bye you are not giving me what i want a uh, bye-bye you are not lonely you're just picky and everybody should be picky when it comes to energies so don't be afraid don't feel bad because you're no longer the person you used to be because guess what that is what spirituality is all about that is what change is all about so you are no longer the same because you are learning growing teaching and expanding so oh boy you hope you are ready for all of this i felt it in my core 
I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but sometimes with this kind of readings, I see images and I'm like, what, what? And I have to like stop because it's like a lot of information coming. <coughs> Let's see what kind of um, crystals are for you that you can get for you. So we got amethyst and it says this one helps in peace, intuition and spirituality. We got lepidolite. Lepidolite. I don't know if you guys can see it. Peace, tranquility, and restful sleep. We got Opalite. And it says clear thinking, new beginnings, and childlike glee. Kyrite. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyways, I'm doing my best. Sight, tranquility, and meditation. Tiger's eye. And it says building courage, attracting wealth. And last one says tourmaline. Green tourmaline. It says calmness, stability, and reaffirming. Now I'm going to give you a, a positive affirmation. So at the bottom says, oh wait, I am courageous and I stand up for myself. I base my happiness on my own accomplishments. My future is an, is an ideal projection of what I've envisioned to be. My efforts are being supported by the universe. My dreams manifest into reality before my eyes. So guys, this is the end of the reading. I know these readings are not so popular, but hey, no, somebody needs this message and I put it out there. Thank you so much for watching me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel as every time I gain a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. With that said, um, if you saw my social media, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, I always follow back. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram. I'm sorry, not an Instagram only, but a Facebook, a small group on Facebook. If you want to help me out there, I will definitely uh, add you right away. Also, I am open for personal readings, but if you want to know anything about personal readings, please go directly to the website as the link is going to be in every single video in the description box. It will take you directly to the website um with that said uh, i also have it on my instagram it's going to be on the bio on the book now i do not offer any free readings anywhere so if you guys were hit to hit me up for a free reading you're not going to get it as i don't offer them anything that i do free is going to be only for the giveaways and when i do lives which is going to be one card for per person so i am close not close but i'm not opening uh, a live this sunday i'm gonna rest my throat was getting harsh because i talk too much so i was getting scared so i'm gonna take a sunday off when it comes to lives but i open for personal readings anything you need to know is over there so with that said i do not offer free readings anywhere else i never message anybody offering free readings readings or asking for money if that were to happen through an account that looks like mine is not mine as the only ones i manage is the one i show you please if that were to happen with a weird account report and block as again i don't do that with that said guys thank you so much for watching me i hope you guys liked it i know this was like oof. but again i go as i go with the universe but love you guys so much you guys have an amazing day and see you see you guys soon